Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? As you can see, I'm geared up, ready to go. We're here at the apartment, so I haven't done the startup. But, um, we're in the helmet. Got the camera. Got the Screaming Eagle jacket on. I'm gonna be wearing the belt riding shoes. That's the stand, Charlie Davidson socks. Underneath, I'm wearing my Easy Rider 50 uh, Ride to Remember shirt. Let's do, let's do the startup and get going. 6.56 in the morning. And we're starting at 2,553 miles. I actually I'm gonna reset one of my trips so I can know how long I traveled. Reset trip B. So I'm gonna jump on and then we're gonna go to Edgewood, pick up the laundromat. There's a startup. Seven in the morning, getting ready to go meet the laundromat. We're gonna go catch this freeway, head out to Edgewood. Hopefully everything's good with his motorcycle. No issues. It's a little chilly this morning, but I'm not complaining because it should be over a hundred degrees where we're going. So it should be fun. It should be a fun ride. This will be my farthest destination away from Albuquerque on the 2020 breakout. Of course, uh, I'm sorry, I'm on my 2020 Lowrider S. I can't even think this morning. So this will be my longest destination ride on my 2020 Lowrider S. However, on the breakout, we did go all the way to Taos, New Mexico for that ride to remember. And uh, I don't know the exact mileage right now of that ride, but I'll put it in the video by the time I put the video out. Good thing is there's not many cars on the freeway. We're almost at a full tank. We'll top off in Edgewood or Moriarty. We're here at the laundryman's place. And uh, there has been a slight delay. So he was never able, to, never able to get his tire changed out yesterday. Which one's better, the red or the blue? 
Oh, and all the red, all the red Loctite's like for heavy duty shit. The blue's for like your heads and all that. Mm -hmm. And the green is like for this little stuff, you know? Boom, there it is. I don't know if he needs these to do it, but it better take them. So now we'll take it to the shop. Should only cost about 50 bucks to put the tire on. They charge a lot more if it was still on the motorcycle, so that's why we took it off ourselves. We'll take a ride into town, and then the trip will start later on. Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? So... We got the new tire put on. We're going to throw it on here and we're going to hit the road. So next time I talk to you, I'll talk to you from the helmet cam on the road. We're going about 200 miles. Maybe I'll tell you where we're going on the way there. Maybe you, I'll just show you when we get there. But anyways, about to get on the road. We're about three and a half hours behind schedule. We wanted to leave at eight this morning. We had to wait till 10 a.m. for a shop to open up. So we're going to get this thing, like I said, put on. Put on there. And we'll be out of here. We'll hit the road. Talk to you guys later. Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? As you can see, the laundryman and I are finally on the road. Only about three hours, almost four hours behind schedule, but it's okay. Laundry man and I on the road. Try not to get hit by this semi truck here. All right, we survived that one. Some of these trucks just decide to go and they just come into you. <laughs> Anyways, it's a nice day here in uh, New Mexico. We just left Moriarty, and we're on the road, and there are a lot of trucks on the road today, both sides of the interstate, trucks everywhere, trucks everywhere, but they do keep America moving, so without them we wouldn't have toilet paper, <laughs> talk to you guys later. Lines Corners. YouTube. So we made our pit stop for stretching and getting something to drink. And now we're going, we're off the 40, the 40 is that way. We cut this way and we're going 140 miles.
Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? Looks like we have a lotus right there. Bright orange lotus. And uh, we have arrived at our destination. Well, not our des final destination. But we arrived in the city where my destination is. But check out this lotus. I'm pretty sure that's a lotus. That looks dope. So where am I, you ask? I am in Roswell, New Mexico. Roswell, New Mexico, in search of aliens. Actually, we're in search of Champion Harley-Davidson, which is kind of like the Santa Fe Harley-Davidson where they have other motorcycles that they sell. It's not just a standalone Harley-Davidson dealership. But it's Roswell's Harley-Davidson with some other brands that they sell. But we just filled up with gas. And we should be about about four miles away, according to the map. But here we are in Roswell, New Mexico. And there are some aliens and some UFOs. <laughs> that is cool. Of course, some people consider me an alien because of my Mexican descent. Laundry man wants me to lead the way. He wants me to lead the way as if I know where the hell I'm going. I do not. But the last time I was in Roswell, New Mexico was 2000, 2011, I believe it was. It looks a lot different, which of course it should, because if you're not making progress. Um, but yeah, trying to find the Harley Davidson dealership. So I'm going to do that and then get back with you guys. The street lights are alien heads. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can see it here. See the street light? It is an alien head. And here's a big giant alien right here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I hope you guys can see those alien head street lights. Just in case they don't come out on this camera, I will take a picture with my regular phone. Well, look at that. UFOs, they come in all colors. I saw a pink one and a green one, and a pink one and a green one. We're on Main Street in Roswell, New Mexico. The laundromat is behind me. We are in search of the Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson dealership. There's some more aliens. We're going to turn here. Okay, y'all. Didn't want to bore you with the red light, so I turned off the camera. And I'm also low on battery and like a knucklehead. I left my charger at home because I could have charged on my motorcycle because I do have a USB port down here somewhere. But the ride here was uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Some good winds here and there. Nothing too dangerous. Uh, no, no excitement at all on the road. We were almost the only ones on the road. Um, So that's why I didn't record any of that. I recorded like a little part where we passed some other motorcycles, but other than that, not many cars. I think only like four cars passed us on the way here once we got off the 40. But um, yeah, Champion Harley Davidson is what we're looking for here in Roswell, New Mexico. Roswell, Roswell. What up YouTube? Check it out! I found it! It says Honda Harley Davidson CF Moto Kawasaki Yamaha. They have it all here. So here we are folks. Roswell Harley Davidson. Let's go to the shade. I want shade. 
I want shade. Laundry man's here with me. Oh, I'm just talking to the YouTubers. Oh, cool. We made it here. That looks pretty beast. But yeah, here we are, y'all. Let me go inside. Yo, yo, YouTube, there we are. Roswell, Harley Davidson, Honda, KF Moto, Kawasaki, Yamaha. They have it all. So here we are in Roswell, New Mexico. Side. Where the aliens are amongst us. And apparently we're going to go that way to enter. But we are here. Look at this. That's a nice little mule there. Owners are going to open. They're open. We could have parked over here though. <laughs> Well, we didn't know. It's a pretty dope Durango there. And there's the work phone. The work phone never leaves me alone. As long as they don't say you gotta be there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, some of these Hondos and shit don't look bad at all, man. Maybe they have the Vulcan S here. I've always wanted to see one of those in person. All right, here we go, y'all. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. out y'all even the aliens are in COVID-19 era with the mask but check that out oh this dealership's pretty cool look at those oh, cool up there and then we have all the Harleys here all the Harleys all the shirts all the goodies this is pretty dope it's huge in here too Seven, 2017 Lowrider S or Lowrider when it was still on the Dyna frame. There it is, 2017. That looks beautiful. You got a breakout over there. Yeah, yeah. Well worth the drive. The staff is nice. Uh, oh, look, we even got beard stuff for all my beard and bikers, beard and bikes group on Facebook. <laughs> so I just left Roswell Harley Davidson. Got some nice shirts with aliens on them. Now we're just cruising on Main Street, just trying to check it out, see if we could find the airport. Because I was told there's an airplane graveyard there. A bus with flames. Okay. Okay, Roswell. So, Roswell Harley Davidson was awesome. The people were very friendly didn't harass us at all let us walk around and check things out and uh, one guy started talking to us and just kind of telling us the history uh, they had some pretty cool stuff there including not Harley Davidson stuff they had some pretty cool Hondas and those Honda uh, I think they call it the Honda Fury those are pretty cool looking and they're half the price of a Harley Davidson you know if you're into that but, um, but yeah, it was a 
a good experience, just kind of like uh, when I went to Santa Fe Harley Davidson. Nice staff, good prices. Look! Laundry man got new pipes on his motorcycle and it sounds badass. There's an alien. <laughs> they are amongst us. We out here. Oh yeah, this is the graveyard. I see jumbo jets. I see jumbo jets and I promise you there is no jumbo jets flying out of Roswell, New Mexico. So there's a bunch of United. Look at that 747. Boom! Look at that. With a wolf on the... I changed gears for y'all. Look at that. Frontier. American Airlines. Oh, there's a bunch over there in the, in the far distance. Let me see if I can pull in over here. Well, it looks like there's more. Look at those 747s. Those are some big daddy o's right there. This is pretty cool. I don't know if you can go in there. Look at that one. They're taking parts out of the wing. That is pretty cool. There's a little airplane here on the street. <laughs> American Airlines. This looks like the terminal, so these might be active here. Wow. See if we can get in close. I think this is the actual airport terminal. So these are the current airplanes, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Here's a little cock. What is that? A little rat? Can you guys see that little, a little squirrel? Baby squirrel? <laughs> this we can get in there and <laughs> that's pretty cool that's pretty cool I want to say these are the active airplanes these all look nice well who knows I don't know what's active and what's not active but look at all that in the distance wow This is pretty cool.
<laughs> Pretty cool stuff. I think that jumbo jet says Saudi Arabia on it. Hmm. A Saudi Arabia Airlines jumbo jet in Roswell, New Mexico. Frontier Airlines, if I remember correctly, used to fly to Alaska. So they have this graveyard here. Imagine how many graveyards there are there are around the world of airplanes or cars or anything that doesn't get used. It's insane. It's insane. Anyways, Laundry Man and I are going to get something to eat because we're starving. And then we're going to head home. <laughs> UFO museum. Have to come here in the truck one day and check that out. <laughs> See the street light is an alien head. <laughs> That thing shakes a lot. The new one? Nothing. <laughs> Aliens everywhere. Aliens everywhere. I think we're going to be stopping at the McDonald's. I think we'll be stopping at McDonald's because neither one of us has had anything to eat since this morning and I got up at I think 6 o'clock today and now it's 4.45 in the afternoon so yeah it's time for my fat butt to eat check out that UFO and that big alien <laughs> pretty cool yep looks like we'll be doing this McDonald's and it looks like it's a UFO. Check that out. Surprise, surprise. UFO in Roswell. Oh, look at that big alien holding the Dunkin' Donuts sign. <laughs> okay. Hope you guys can see that. Look at this. It's a UFO McDonald's. We're going to try to get some shade. Try to get some shade. No, it should be open. Yeah, restaurants are open. Breakfast and lunch and dinner has been served. And now we're going to hit the road home. 200 miles to go home now. 200 miles. And it wasn't bad coming over here, to be honest with you. I mean, we stopped. We stopped. I think we stopped about 70 miles. 70 miles kind of a thing. Anyways. It wasn't bad. We'll see how the wind is going back home. But it was a good ride. Relaxing ride. Anyways, 200 miles to go. 
not sure how much I'll be able to record because of the camera dying. But uh, I'll talk to you guys later.
What's up, YouTube? It is 8.40 at night. It's been a long day. Just dropped off, or just stopped by the laundryman's house to drink some water, use the restroom. And now it's time for me to do my final stretch home into Albuquerque, about 30 miles away. I'm tired. My body hurts. So far we're looking at, I've been riding for 406 miles, 406 miles today, 30 miles to go. I'm tired of getting hit by bugs, I haven't had a bird hit my shoulder somewhere after we left Roswell, a bird hit my shoulder. Uh, Anyways, 30 miles to go guys, talk to you later. Oh, YouTube, I am tired. I sure hope the footage came out good for this video. Alright, let's rip into Albuquerque, baby. Time to head home. But the sun went down, it feels great. Get it back to Albuquerque. Nine o'clock at night. Uh, what a long day. A lot warmer here in Albuquerque. Edgewood was chilly, but it felt good after being beat by the sun most of the day. And now you can definitely tell it's hot and warm here in Albuquerque. There's old Duke City. Oh, 
What a day. Almost home now. Back on the streets of Albuquerque. And these gas prices are cheaper here in Albuquerque. But yeah, recap of the day, it started at 6 in the morning, I woke up, made it to the laundry man's house for about 8, then we had to wait till 10 to find a shop that would change his tire, we just didn't want to risk it, so didn't leave his house till about 12.30. Twelve thirty, we got into Roswell just before three. Checked out Harley Davidson. Drove to the airport, checked out some airplanes, and then we stopped to get some food and rode back. And the ride back has her. I think these trips would be better if I could spend the night wherever we go so we don't have to come back the same day anyways I really hope you've enjoyed it and uh talk to you guys in a little bit